Well, let's say I know how confusing it is when you decide to start a poultry farm because you're like, okay, I really want to do this, but should I even do it? Should I even start a poultry farm? Um, what are the things I need to even start a poultry farm? You, you are totally confused and then you're like, okay, or should I give up? Well, no, do not give up. I'm here to take you through everything you need to know, the qualities you have to possess, and then all the items, equipment, everything you need in order to start a poultry farm. So, my name is Angela Ite and I'm a beginner poultry farmer. I'm going to take you through all this in this video. So, come along with me. What's happening there? We are going to talk about two major things the qualities you need to possess as a poultry farmer and then number two the items or the equipment you need in order to start a poultry farm so i'm going to start with the qualities because if you don't have these qualities i don't think you should even think about getting the equipment so the qualities are passion and passion is about you like they are people just have a passion like I have a passion for animals. I like I, I like watching over them. I like caring for them. So then you're not scared of them. You should be able to just see a bird. Then you're able to like <laughs> it. and then you're able to um hold the bird, tell the bird has eaten. If the bird hasn't eaten, you should be able to tell if the bird is sick. You should be able to tell if the bird is like something is wrong with the bird. Because you are passionate about it. You want to know, oh, what's wrong with my, this bed that is it's standing there quietly? What is happening to this bed? So that is passion for you. And even if you are not going to be on the farm continuously, you should be able to pay surprise visits to check on the bed, how they are doing, and then everything. So number two um, is availability. You should be available. This is a very important quality. If you are not, someone who is not always available, um, I don't think it's going to help your bed. And even if you're not going to be available, get someone who will be available, who will be able to take care of the beds for you. Because if you do not keep an eye on these ones, um, you are going to um, like lose them and it will be very sad. So you should be very, very, very available. So the next point, point number three, is that you have to be dedicated dedication so um if you're not dedicated and then something happens to this bed as mean um there's an outbreak of a disease and then your bed gets affected you are going to give up because like you, you are not dedicated you're not um you've not given yourself that to the fact that okay no matter what happens i'm going to keep on taking care of this bed i'm, I'm going to keep on like providing care for them so then when something goes wrong a little like the very start of something going wrong you decide to give up so let's talk about the second set of things that you need in order to start the poultry farm first thing you need is money i don't know whether money is an item or but then first thing you need is money money is very important very 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 important because you need money for i think virtually everything in this list so um and then the amount of money you need depends on how big you want to start and also whether you want to start with layers or broilers so the amount of money depends on you what you want and then the second most important thing is um land obviously you're going to build a cook on a land to keep the beds in it so you need a piece of land and then you need water so um what i'm going to build a cook should have water nearby so that it will be easy for you to get water for these beds it will be easy for you to get water to wash their drinkers to wash their feeders water so water is very important because they need a lot of water the next thing is the construction of a coop after you've gotten your land with water nearby the next thing is to construct a coop for this bed so depending on the number of beds you are going to start with you construct a according to the size so the coop should be um, done in such a way that um, ventilation is very, 
very, very important. It should be done in such a way that air is able to get into the coop for the birds not to suffocate. Do you get it? Yes. So, with our coop, you can see that um, we use um, materials that block the air up to a point so that the birds can get, get, get out. And then the top part, we use a net like material. So, that's how it's supposed to be. The top part should be open, like not so closed. So that air can get inside for the bed to be able to breathe very well. So the next thing is to get letter. So this is letter. Um, you can wood shavings. We use wood shavings. You put it um on the floor so that the bed can get. <laughs> the this is food. <laughs> they are all coming around. Okay. So the next thing is to get wood shavings. You place it on the cemented ground. Cause the cement is not really good. It's not good for them to walk on it. It's cold to get it so it means they'll get cold and too much cold is not good for them they will die so then you use the letter on the ground and then you also get feeders so there are these um, metallic feeders you can get those ones but we need these ones um, these wooden feeders so you can get these wooden feeders as well and then you need drinkers so this with the water so this is what they are going to drink water from so the next thing you're supposed to do is to get your beds because now your poop is ready you have litter on the ground you have your feeders you have your drinkers so the next thing is to order for your bed and if possible you can ask the company to send you um, a list of the medicines that these beds are going to take so that you buy them in advance before the beds even come and then they can even um, give you uh, um, the type of feed that is good for the bed so you buy the feed and then you buy the medicines even before the birds come so you can get the medicine and feed first then you order the you order for the bed so by the time the birds come everything is set feed is ready medicine is ready the coop is ready water is ready everything is set and then they just come in so when they come in they come in um they be little one day old day 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 old so um with that you have to do some breeding so i'll be talking about breeding in my next video or my next two videos or my next three videos so after you do all these and your birds arrive voila you're a poultry farmer Welcome to the team. <laughs> it's, it's actually nice. Even though I'm just um, a beginner with just a small number, I actually said we're 180 and then right now I have about 80 something. There was this disease that took away a lot of my bed. So I'm going to talk about this disease soon. I, think, I don't think I have um, the heart to talk about it. But if you want to know what happened, what disease it was and how I treated it, drop your comment in the comment section i'm going to talk about it i'm going to gather enough courage to talk about it so yeah so please do well to like comment and then subscribe to this channel for more because there's a lot more coming your way so next time bye, -bye. hey say bye bye Bye-bye. <laughs>